So um, I want to give uh, some time to everybody to introduce themselves, but the first person we need to introduce is Regina Ketters, who is the owner of Marty's Mark. Let's give Regina a hand for being our host today. Really, this is so nice of you to, to let us do this here. This is, um, everybody walks in and says, wow. <laughs> you know, so tell us about Marty's Market and why it's not Regina's Market. Okay, well, <laughs> first, thank you for coming because essentially your being here is a realization of my vision for Marty's Market being a community gathering space, a place where people can come together and, and talk about issues that are related to food, transcend food, but in some way we're unified through food and this desire to live a wonderful life and I think that begins by eating well. We live well by eating well. And uh, the mission of Marty's is to strengthen demand for regionally grown clean product so we can stabilize the regional food system. And so Marty's Market isn't named after me because I'm not about food, I'm about changing the world and I happen to be doing that through food right now. And to create an inclusive space, the place needed to be named after someone who you couldn't identify gender or ethnic background. So Marty's is sort of that that name that allows us to do whatever we want in the space with whatever kind of food we want to have. So if we feel like cooking tonight, it's like, hey, let's swing by the market and we'll cook when we get home. Or like today, let's get together. I haven't seen you in a while. Let's meet up at Marty's. So Great. thanks for being here. Yeah. Do you have any, um, absolutely. <laughs> I like the change in the world part too. Do you have any other events that are happening uh, in the next couple of weeks you want to talk about? Well, sure. I'm. I'm I'm trying to encourage more people to branch out beyond what they would define as their comfort zone. And so for a good number of folks, um, that's being in a welcoming, comfortable environment where they can trust the people that are hosting it uh, to do great things. So next Thursday, as an example, is the fourth in a series of wine tastings. But without a liquor license, it's all about the food and then the wine sort of complimentary. And uh, we specialize in whole animal butchery. We really try to address one of the weaknesses in our food system is that it's hard to get local meat because it's hard to slaughter animals locally since many of our slaughterhouses have closed. And the viability of only selling flank steaks really puts the average cattle farmer out of business. So we bring in whole animals. There are parts people haven't tried before. So next Thursday, we're taking a trip to South America through food and wine, and beef cheeks is one of the dishes that we're gonna be serving with some Chilean red. So wow. there's an example. That's awesome. Um, and we're trying to build a repertoire of cooking classes, and so I welcome anyone who has recommendations on on people who are established within the community and have a voice and have have information to share with the rest of us to, to use the food theater for that purpose. But so far we've been successful in teaching children to cook with our partners at Slow Food Pittsburgh. It's our aspiration to really build our community of home cooks and to begin with the little stickies in the world. So That's turning great. stickies into sous chefs and, and doing that here has been a lot of fun and we found doing it with their parents is the most beneficial way to accomplish that mission. So we actually conduct concurrent classes, one with the parent or guardian and one with the kids. And we have the same curriculum and it's pretty fascinating that parents <laughs> tend to learn more than the children. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want to uh, put a shout out for your beef jerky. I'm absolutely <laughs> addicted. Uh, it's, I know it's bad. I'm trying to, it's if, not. The, if, the, if, the, if, the, if, if you're not supposed to eat red meat, what some people think, mm -hmm. but if you do, this is absolutely the best beef jerky you'll ever taste. So, <laughs> so we'll be here every second Friday, mm -hmm. every second Friday of the month, mm -hmm. I should say, mm -hmm. uh, right here. So thank you again, yeah, Regina. Thank you. All right, take care.